Yeah, okay, now, now we actually need to do it. Um, if you saw last episode, you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't... Alright, what's up guys, Mipa2 here, or Liguigi, whatever you want to pick, and we are here with a box. Now, this box was supposed to actually be here yesterday, however, it did not arrive. And I was very scared, because it said that I was picked, that, like, I picked it up, which... I don't understand exactly, um, but we do have a bunch of plushies, and as well as that, obviously, like I said, Luigi, because we have a Smash Bros. character to introduce and add to the collection, so let's get to it with Yoshi! Oh my god, this is a cute little Yoshi plushie from, what year is this from? I got no idea. Twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen Yoshi plushie and he looks adorable. Oh my gosh, we have Yoshi added to the collection and let's take a little better look, shall we? Alright, and right here we have Yoshi. It is a twenty thirteen Yoshi plushie from I'm trying to see what company it is. I can't really tell at the moment. Manufactured. Alright, whatever that company is. Goldie, I think it is Goldie, so it's a Goldie company, I'm guessing. But yeah, pretty cool plushie. It looks just like how, like, say, a Tommy one, it feels like a Tommy plushie as well. Very, very not as squishy. Right here, it's kind of squishy, which is weird. But yeah, I think it looked great in the Smash Bros. collection, which I have, and you will actually see at the end. But yeah, Yoshi is a part of our Smash Bros. collection. And let's show y'all the new little thing that I'm trying to do with these with a uh, with uh, Yoshi being a part of the first one. Um, not a part of the actual like smash video. We can add him and let's do that now. Shall we? All right, I don't know if we need this anymore So I'm just gonna throw that over there and before we do anything I kind of no. I'm gonna save this for later. I'm gonna save this for later She made me something so cute the Makari like person and I'm gonna have to show it to you all in a bit but Next up, we have another little guy. Um, this one's actually going to be my girlfriend's, and it's going to be a vibrating Snivy. So she has a huge Snivy collection that I've been helping her make to go along with my Oshawa collection, and I found this in the little bundle. Um, so I decided to get it for her, and it's a cute little keychain. So let's take a little look at this, shall we? All right, and this little guy is super weird. What the heck? Like, I don't know what brand this is from or what year. What year does it? 2012. So it's a 2012 plushie. Um, what you're supposed to do is grab it like this, and it starts vibrating. Okay. Is this like a Mc like it can't be a McDonald's toy? I don't think McDonald's were doing like the plushie Pokemon stuff for a little while, but yeah, <laughs> that's so weird. Like I said, I am giving this to my girlfriend. A very little awkward guy, but I like it. Um, it goes pretty good with my keychain that I have, but I gotta see if there's an Oshawa version of this. But yeah, that's a weird plushie to have. Parts of its like tag is coming off right now, if you can't tell by that. And yeah, just a kind of weird Snivy, but honestly, it has some charm to it. All right, next up, I showed you all that hoo hoo a little while ago that had the Pokeball reversible thing. It was like one of the first of few that I think ever existed. And we have another one with coughing. I honestly wanted to get a different coughing plushie, but this guy, he he just looks so weird looking. I had to also add him. Um, let's take a look. Like I said, it is a Pokeball plushie, so we can actually turn it in. But let's take a better look at him, shall we? Oh. oh, 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 oh. Got a part of him stuck, so we're going to... Uh, zip them back up. There we go. And yeah, honestly, dude, this is a pretty good coughing plushie for what it is. Um, the only thing I don't really enjoy is these parts are just like kind of little loose areas flapping around. I prefer having maybe it just like sewn on their hard little area, little bubble parts. But still a very cool plushie. All right, and it's been a few weeks now since I showed you all the hoot hoot. But just like that hoot hoot had, you could actually turn this guy into a Pokeball which is very neat and interesting. Um, I think that Hoo Hoo was actually like a kid's toy from somewhere. It's a Hasbro, it's from Hasbro from 1998. Okay, so it's a 1998 coughing plushie, which that's really cool having an old plushie like this, a part of the collection. 
Um, I like getting these smaller ones. I might get another coughing plushie, just like I said about Wobbuffet. But dude, let's see. We got two team. Oh, we got two team Rocket plushies right here. That's awesome. They're just both small. Um, actually, yeah. Okay, Zubat. I was like, does Zubat have a a thing a part of them for Team Rocket? But I think he was a part of Brock's team. But yeah, we do have Wobbuffet and we have Coughing, pretty much the same size. And yeah, having Coughing is very awesome. I'll throw them right here. And then next up, we got oh another little one. We have ourselves a Wobbuffet. And if you remember back in like 2007, 2008, they had little Pokeballs. And in those Pokeballs, you would actually have a plushie in there. And this is one of the ones that I think I actually had as a kid. So getting another one back of Wobbuffet, that's awesome. I knew I had Krogunk, but I don't know if I think I did have Wobbuffet. Uh, let's take a better look, shall we? All right. If you were a kid in about like say 2010s, 2000, like between 2005 and 2010, you would probably remember these. They would be in like a Pokeball and whenever you open the Pokeball, they would be out there to play with. A little small little Wobbuffet plushie. Very adorable. You can see the eyes right there. And yeah, such a cute little guy. There's not much really to say about this man. Uh, what year was this from? 2007, like I said. And it's a Jack Specific, so it is Jack Specific plushie for Wobbuffet. And dude, this is really nice. I like it's a small plushie, but it's a pretty great representation of Wobbuffet. In the future, I might get another Wobbuffet plushie, but for now, this honestly works for me. I like trying to collect all different forms of Pokemon plushie way, and having like a Wobbuffet like this, a small little Wobbuffet from that little thing that I used to play with a lot. It works with me, so Wobbuffet added the collection. Alright, Wobbuffet. Such a small little guy. We're going to throw him over here. Um, next up, we have, which I think is from the same little Arby's as, like, the uh, Dratini I have over here. It is a Zubat, and now we have Zubat added to the collection. I'm surprised I never had Zubat uh, all those years ago when I started the collection, but now that I do, dude, this looks great. I love getting older Pokemon and older Pokemon plushies added to the collection and having one of these very very adorable so i might i might have to keep on getting from the same little arby's thing let's take a look shall we? next up we have like a beanie bag beanie baby type of zubat i think this is the same one that the uh i don't know if you can see him dratini over there has um and that's like a bean bag from arby's so that's my assumption for this little guy is that it was an arby's exclusive toy um it still feels very nice it looks very good for how old it is uh, I'm guessing this was like either early 2000, probably 2000 or in the 90s, um, which honestly looks pretty great. The sewing still holds up. The blue, I honestly kind of like the blue sewing onto the purple, even though that was probably just done to be cheap. It still looks good. In my opinion, it looks really bright and the colors are still pretty bright. Obviously, I'm probably going to have to clean some of the areas here because they are older plushies. So they probably have collected a lot of dust. Um, and I've noticed that it might not just be dirty from like the owner that previously had it. It could also be like dust spikes that were on there. So that's probably the case with Zubat right here, which we'll probably find out in the cleaning video. I need to figure out when to clean all these plushies. It'll be in pretty soon, I'm hoping. But yeah, we have Zubat, a part of the collection. All right, Zubat, you're going to fly behind me and you're going to go. I'm going to have one more one to show you, and that is... <laughs> togekiss jack specific togekiss and dude this looks perfect i love how this looks um i have a togepi i don't have togetic so having a togekiss into the collection very very awesome dude that's adorable it's so big as well for a jack specific plushie um let's take a look at it shall we but this is honestly probably my favorite of the plushies and ending off we have ourselves a jack specific togekiss and this is beautiful oh my god it feels great it feels like a boomerang honestly and it looks amazing here it is and what year joey r so sorry joey r whoever you are but um that's my togekiss now <laughs> and it is from 2010 um very very good the sewing's amazing um right here you can see a little parts of it coming off that's probably just from the age um i wonder if this is exactly the same color or if it from being older it's kind of like gone down in color to where it's not as pure white as it usually is it looks more like a vanilla coloring like vanilla from like say ice cream 
Um, French mm-hmm. vanilla probably is the more important, like a more like specific color to add to it. But Togekiss looks beautiful. I love how it looks. And yeah, having Togekiss a card of the collection, that's amazing. But now that we have all these guys reviewed and shown off for y'all, we need to add them to the collection officially. So we're going to do that right now. And let's add them to the Pokedex. All right, and I said we weren't done just yet. We do have Togekiss, and that's the final plushie. However, we were given some items in here as a gift from her. And we do have, let me see if I can grab them all. Um, on my document binder I have over here, you know, or you should know, um, I don't know how often I show it, but I actually have stickers that I've been putting on there, Pokemon-themed stickers. And she sent us some Pokemon-themed stickers. Talonflame, Meryl, Mega Charizard Y, and Shaman. So let's see. Let's just grab it if I haven't showed y'all. Um, I am putting all the stickers up on here. I got a good few. Uh, most of these that I actually get are either from people that like just kind of give me them. Um, if I get one for free, I'll add it on here. But a lot of these are from like mail from Macari or other people I've bought pre-made or like pre-owned. And they kind of send stickers with it, which honestly, I love the idea of just adding stickers that I get from people that I buy from or that just give me it and adding it to it here. I plan to get the whole thing, the whole side of here. I need to take off this part. But once I get that part off, doing that as well. But a sticker binder is super cool. I actually collected stickers when I was younger. So I kind of enjoy doing that. But my favorite thing she gave us is this dude look how adorable that is all right y'all could read it i'm gonna take a look at it thanks for giving these guys a new home may they provide you lots of love and comfort and i do think they're gonna give me some love and comfort she is amazing at drawing that looks awesome wow the coughing's beautiful that yoshi is amazing oh my god we do have him uh, him, yeah, you know, Zubat, that's, dude, this is just adorable, um, I'm definitely gonna put it probably right over here to have in the collection forever, but that is amazing, so I think we're gonna add these guys to the collection, um, Yoshi, you already saw a thing that I'm probably gonna try to do for transitions, so we do have Yoshi a part of that collection for Smash Bros, which will be going over here, and I think, I'm trying to think, this is going to have a new home with my girlfriend for sure because um, she is collecting Snivy and then these guys will probably be going in the box. Um, I am sorry to separate Snivy but I'm sure it'll have another loving home with my girlfriend. Um, yeah so whenever I get to that I will show y'all. Um, I will probably give it to her actually today because I'm going to visit her so I'll give that to her then off screen. But these guys, we're going to put them in the box and they're going to chill with another big load of plushies that we have in here. Which, oh my god, the collection is growing once again and I love it. So let's do that right now. Alright, I don't know if you can see all of them. We got Zubat, we got Wobbuffet over there. I'm going to have to make some more room. But right now we do have the Smash Bros characters as well. Yoshi will be chilling over here with his little Smash Bros collection. He even has Mario next to him too, which is awesome. And then as well as that, I do have myself... Also, look at that. <laughs> awesome. Um, I do have myself this Snivy, which I will be giving to my girlfriend later tonight. A uh, very, very cute little guy. But yeah, this is where collection's going. Maybe in the future I'll have them coming out. As well as that, last episode I said something about how I'm getting that Blaziken's little head piece right here to fit back into order. And that's what I am still trying to do with him being like that. Hopefully that'll work. But if not, we'll probably figure out something. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Uh, like I said, I'm also putting that right there. And the sticker binder has the stickers on there as well. So much love. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.